Hello everyone, this is the installation video for Python 3 on Mac laptop. I'm going to introduce you uh, to an application called Terminal and I'm going to show you two different ways of opening the Terminal application. The first way that you can open uh, Terminal is by hitting the keys command and space and you can type uh, the uh, keyword Terminal and that should uh, enable you to open the Terminal application. Uh, the other way that you can uh, access terminal is you can uh, navigate to a finder window and in applications you can uh, search for uh, the terminal again and you should be able to find uh, uh, the application from the finder window as well. Alright, uh, you don't need to know much about uh, the terminal uh, application here. Uh, I'm just going to uh, use terminal to show you a uh, few commands for the installation. So the first command that I'm going to show you is uh, something called as python hyphen hyphen version. So one thing to know about Mac uh, is that uh, Mac laptops have a pre-installed version of Python which is typically Python 2. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, enter uh, on this command. Uh, it's a little bit confusing that uh, my python hyphen hyphen version command actually gives a Python version 3. That's because I've overridden the default uh, Python version with actually Python 3. But you should be seeing uh, a Python 2 version when you do this uh, on your laptop. So uh, how do we install Python 3? Uh, we can go to the python.org uh, website and navigate to downloads and we can download the latest version of Python which is Python 3.8.5. Uh, that's going to download a package file for you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, install the package file by clicking on it. Uh, I'm uh, going to keep uh, uh, hitting continue until it will actually prompt me for uh, a password. So go ahead and enter your password and uh, let the installation uh, keep running. Uh, sorry about this, the installation is going to take a couple of minutes but I'm still going to uh, record the video so you're going to have a lot of white noise so go ahead and uh, uh, you know scroll forward if you would like to. Right, it's closer to getting done. Should be done uh, in less than a minute truly now. Let's just wait for a few more seconds. All right, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and move uh, the installer to trash because that's a good practice. So let me actually switch back uh, to my uh, terminal window and uh, let's see what happens when I run the exact same command. So uh, what you'll observe is that uh, your output shouldn't have changed from the previous time. Uh, that is because uh, when you install uh, the latest version of Python 3, you need to use the command python3 hyphen hyphen version to check uh, uh, as to what version of Python 3 is currently installed. So as you can see, Python 3 hyphen hyphen version uh, shows me the correct version. All right, uh, so other than Python installation itself, I'm also going to show you how to install a few additional packages uh, using a package manager called pip. So uh, 
let's first uh, do a pep3 hyphen hyphen version so all of you can see uh, what version of pep uh, my laptop has so the way that you install uh, additional packages is by saying pip3 and then install. So one of the main packages which I want to install uh, is Jupyter, which we'll be using a lot uh, throughout the semester. It's spelled uh, exactly how you can see on the screen with a Y. And another package which I want to install is something called as uh, request. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. You can add like any number of packages to the same pip install line. And I'm also going to install uh, NumPy and Matplotlib. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Just like last time, uh, sorry, uh, looks like some of those packages are already pre-installed. But uh, on your laptop, when you do this, you should be able to uh, see all the installation happening. Uh, so um, let me see. Uh, let's, let's do one uh, final thing to verify that the installation actually worked fine. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to enter the command uh, called Jupyter space notebook and I'm going to hit enter. If the installation had worked correctly, this should open uh, the browser uh, uh, page for you. And I'm going to quickly also show you how to create a Python uh, notebook file. We'll be talking about uh, this in detail uh, during next week lectures but I'm just going to briefly introduce you. So you can click on the new uh, menu on the right uh, corner and click on Python 3 that is going to open a new Jupyter uh, uh, notebook file for you and you can uh, write Python code in here. Uh, let's say that I'm going to say uh, uh, tell me what 3 plus 2 is. There are two ways to run uh, this particular code. You can uh, hover your mouse over run and go ahead and uh, do run or you could uh, use the keys uh, shift and enter in your keyboard and that will also uh, run the code for you.